Sometimes I think we film historians are a bit like mad scientists, poking around dusty vaults, stitching together our research, trying to give a jolt of life to Hollywood's forgotten heritage. Fortunately, one film that's never been forgotten is James Wells' Frankenstein, one of the most imitated and influential motion pictures of all time. When the film was first released in 1931, Universal added a special prologue, part showmanship, but partly had a real apprehension that Frankenstein might be too much for nervous audiences of the Great Depression. While Frankenstein may no longer really shock or horrify, it has never lost the power to fascinate, and Boris Karloff's star-making performance easily made him one of the most cultural icons of the 20th century. So, if my friend here doesn't make you nervous, perhaps you will join us both as we enter the vault of Universal Studios and open the Frankenstein files. In her introduction to the revised edition of Frankenstein in 1831, Mary Shelley instructed her hideous progeny to go forth into the world and prosper. Exactly 100 years later, Universal took her directive to heart and created the most successful movie monster of them all. The original advertising campaign for Frankenstein featured the tagline, The Monster is Loose. And you know, it still is.